question like as our purpose of life itself is enlightenment and we come down for that then why when we come down we just forget the context of enlightenment what i feel is that when we are born we are we don't have that intelligence we just like how some told that we need to create that intelligence and we create our intelligence based on what the ideas which collect from our surroundings so when we are born we are with that ignorance and whatever people whatever the society around us tells we just catch it they are they are all they are already filled with so many incompletions and they are functioning from a totally different context and so when that ambience is not provided automatically you just collect all this uh, different different ideas and create your own context and live based on the context which you have so that that's why what i feel is that that's why we even miss the purpose of our life that's why even we miss that context of enlightenment in us adding a point like how in outer world you have the you have the ambience where the people just keep pulling you down to not have the right context like same way like in gurukul we have the satsang around us where we keep each one keeps uh, pushing them up for enlightenment only purpose of our life so whenever we go down there are so many of so there are so many of them helping each one to pull up for the only purpose of enlightenment so if you want to have the space of enlightenment and reach enlightenment you can come and join gurukul that that is each and everything we just at the context for doing and everything so whatever swam ji speaks every day morning so we just understand what he is speaking and just listening what he is telling so when we just do that listening again and again so we start we start understanding what he is speaking so on every day we do spiritual and spiritual practices like vakya this this chanting and other things blindfolded so when we just start doing this the the we set a right context for each and everything so when we just constantly do this practices it just it just easily leads us to enlightenment sangha in this program and what swami ji is doing is is taking a leap is taking a leap and it's going to a level that i can't really conceive of what it's going to look like except to say that um it can really be life changing for millions and millions of people and the world is the world has been ready to wake up to a greater reality and i i, I kind of think this may be what's going on so um i know for myself my personal healing and my personal steps forward makes anything worthwhile for my experience here worth any amount of money i paid um but to see what can be happening collectively is is even more mind blowing and exciting so i'm very grateful to swami ji and i'm i'm grateful 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 to swami ji i mean indescribably um and also amazed by all the um all the sanyasis and all the volunteers and everyone is coming together to make um possible things happen logistically and then psychically and spiritually and on, on every level uh, so uh you know if if this is if this is the time for the world to take a step forward why not you know why not do it now and this swami ji is the person who's who's here to to bring it to us Why not? Let's go to the feast, you know. So, I'm very grateful and excited to be here and to have uh have the support of an enlightened master and incarnation as I'm going through these transformations and I hope to get to a place where I can really help and really support this process. Yes, I'm Nandam. My name is uh Adrian. Um I'm a graphic designer from New York, USA. Um and i just completed the uh nitya yoga and detox retreat here at the ashram in bidity outside of bangalore and it was a very it was an amazing experience um <laughs> after years of living in um it, without swami ji and um living in maya i had accumulated a lot of uh a lot of bad patterns, a lot of toxins and the detox retreat was exactly what I needed um to transform my body and uh to hone it into the vessel, the spiritual vessel that I want it to be. Um one of the highlights for me was um learning about all the ayurvedic plants um here at the ashram and how they can be harvested and then used to create medicine. that will then heal the body. Um one of the biggest takeaways that 
I got from this whole experience was that our body intuitively knows um, how to heal itself. And it's just a matter of listening to it and being in tune with nature and aligning yourself to that energy that is around us all the time. And that's something that I'm going to take with me for the rest of my life. And I would like to thank um, all the people that were involved in this retreat and most of all uh, Swamiji. So, Nityananda, thank you. Shiva! 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 Welcome home to experience love current of Mahadeva. This city is just DNA of physical expression of Hinduism. From your side, nothing needs to be done other than being here. Simple truth straight away.